I'm in favor of Bills 85 and 89. Rental housing is really the only option for a large portion of our uh, residents. Uh, whether you work as a civil servant or in the trades, retail or small business, the service community or your nurse or a school teacher, home ownership is really financially out of reach, leaving only long-term rentals. As a long-term rental, as a long-term renter, you really become part of a community or a neighborhood so that the whole area feels like home to everybody. My residentially zoned neighborhood on the North Shore has become transformed by illegal vacation rentals into a hotel district. Our feeling of community is being destroyed as long-term renters are replaced by a revolving door of, of tourists who really contribute nothing to our neighborhood. They create traffic, trash, and endless party noise. I ask you as council members to meet your responsibilities to ensure proper land use of residentially zoned neighborhoods by supporting Bills 85 and 89. Thank you. I recently found out that uh, all of the council members have been taking on, thank you, have been taking uh, contribution, uh, campaign contributions from the um, hotels. Uh, today we also had a room full of hotel employees that are unpaid lobbyists that are there to hold up signs. So I went after those today because I feel that those are the problems. Uh, part of what we discussed was the amount of uh, residents here, the amount of Airbnb hosts, B&B hosts that are greatly affected by today's decision. Everybody's been talking on a singular level about their bad experiences with one household or with one individual property. Nobody speaks about the 4,000 people that are about to be not necessarily uprooted from their homes, but absolutely economically, they will no longer be viable. So because of all of the attention on this, and because Council Member Menor is using words like illegal, that's scaring good people away. And that's not right. And the example I gave is simple. If for some reason the uh, Department of uh, the Motor Vehicles suddenly has an issue or a glitch with issuing a uh, new driver's license or, or re reissuing driver's licenses, does that mean everybody is going to stop working? or stop driving or stop going to the grocery store or stop going to pick up their kids because they can't get a renewed driver's license? No, they're gonna to continue to do what they do because that's the only option and this is no different. We are not illegally operating. We are operating without a permit because there's no clear path for these permits to be issued. 